Welcome back, you guys. My name is Billy, and I'm a cybersecurity professional, and I help women transition into cybersecurity careers. I do that through my mentoring programs, my courses, and my online teachings. Now, today we are going to talk about how to get into cybersecurity. What do you do from the beginning, right? You've decided that you want to pursue this career, but the first thing I want you to do is determine why. Why do I want to get into cybersecurity? Is it because making more money? Is it just something that interests you now? Like whatever your reasons for it, it's okay. But I want you to determine it because I need you to build a foundation. Because while you're learning and you're pursuing cyber, things make it difficult, right? It's a new language. You're learning a totally new skill and you need something to fall back on in case you it's just hard for you to keep going. So remembering why you started will keep you going and just excited about it and keep your interest. So first, determine your why. And second, determine what domain that you want to pursue. Are you going to do SOC analyst um, type of work, pen testing, IM, identity access management, GRC, governance, risk compliance, Whatever it is, you need to make sure that you pick a skill and stick with it and just engulf yourself in it. Learn everything you can about it because this is what you are going to be the subject matter expert in. Okay, so once you've determined your domain of interest, I want you to begin to build your skill set, right? You can do that through a local tech community college. You can do that through online programs, just uh, various different things, books. There are so many course options for you out there. If you're looking to become a SOC analyst, I've got a course, SOCanalystAcademy.com, that teaches you everything I know about how I became a SOC analyst and how you can pursue that career path on your own. And so after you figured out your domain, like I've said, just develop your skills, spend a lot of your time developing your skills. That's going to be important because working in tech, building up your skills is going to be a lifelong thing, right? Now for certifications, if you're going into the cybersecurity field, the first certification I recommend is the CompTIA Security Plus. It's a basic entry level foundation in cybersecurity. I know there are others, um, cyber security or tech uh, certifications, but Security Plus is pretty standard. And some employees even request it. I know to work in the government sector, you have to have a Security Plus for most or all positions over there. And there's opportunity to make a lot of money in the government sector. All right, so the next thing I want you to do is to document your journey, right? Document where you started, where you are, and where you're going. Because documenting it, that could be through social media, your own website, GitHub, I believe it's called, just multiple different ways so that others can see you in the light that you see yourself. And when they think of these positions and titles, they'll think of you because they see what skills you develop along the way. Just be very boisterous about what you're doing and let people know because networking is how a lot of people actually get into tech, especially nowadays with influx job applications that these tech companies are receiving. You can stand out by showing and sharing your journey. And that ties into building your personal brand show out, show what you got, show what skills that you have learned, who you are, label yourself, start to call yourself whatever you're becoming. That is building your personal brand. Your personal brand is where you were, where you are, and where you're going. Because if you're continuously talking about that thing, that skill, you're branding yourself as such. All right, so we've talked about determining your why, Determining the domain that you want to follow, the certification, entry level certification. We've covered documenting your projects and your learning and building your personal brand. This is foundational, you guys. This is what I want you to do to get started and to build upon as you continue your journey. Now, if you want to get hands on learning through uh, building your own virtual home lab, I've created a course called Cyber Learning labs.net. 
that you can visit where I teach you a step by step how to build a home lab. You'll get pen testing projects. You will also learn Kali Linux, Ubuntu, and the number one Sim Splunk. So go ahead and check that out, guys. Um, you can use that on your resume and get hands on experience. I've created this course just for you. I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to help you learn. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you subscribe to my page, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.